Hi, I'm Shiva from Oklahoma State University. Today I'm going to present our term paper on text mining and sentiment analysis along with my group members Aditya and Virendra. The basic objective behind our project is to tap social media data on retail industry and to apply data analysis techniques like text mining to get to know the customer views and opinions. In this case, we have chosen Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales season for our analysis. The business scenario in our project is not very specific, but we are going to showcase a general perspective on how organizations should constantly monitor social media data to succeed. The reason behind selecting Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales season for our analysis is that, according to the latest survey, about $59 million revenue has been generated over the Black Friday weekend this year. So it becomes very important for the retailers to predict consumer behavior and which is crucial for maximizing revenues and for delivering the customer experience. Basically in our project we have targeted Twitter as a social media platform and we are going to use an open source tool called R for our data analysis and visualization. Uh, now let me present you an overview of our project. So. We are going to start with gathering the tweets from Twitter for our data. The tweets are going to be on the subjects uh, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Sale and Deal. Once we get the data, the next step would be cleaning the data, forming the corpus and term document matrices. Once we have got the term document matrix, we are going to split the string data matrices into words list. From here, it's basically going to be two parts. The first would be finding the most frequent terms and words and getting the association rules for the selected target words. After getting the term document matrix, we are going to split the string data matrices into words list. From here, it's basically going to be two parts. One is finding the most frequent words and getting the association rules for the selected frequent words. On the second part, we are going to calculate the sentiment for each tweet by using some sentiment scoring algorithms. Now let me go ahead and give you a, a brief demonstration of the R code we have used on the tool. So this is the R code we have used for our project. Before we actually start with getting the tweets, we shall have to load some of the libraries or packages into R like Twitter package, XML package, text mining package. So basically the functions for uh, text mining, XML or uh, the functions for getting the tweets from Twitter are going to be in these packages. Once we load the libraries, we are going to get the tweets from the Twitter on the keywords Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Save and Deal. So we are going to... The next step is to create a corpus, clean the data and to form the term document matrix. In this step, we are basically going to clean the data like removing white spaces, converting the uh, strings into lowercase, removing stop quotes, remove punctuation and numbers, like that. So once we are done with forming the corpus and cleaning the data, the next step would be forming a term document matrix of the corpus. As explained in the game plan, we would be forming a words list from the corpus after getting the term document matrix. As explained in the game plan, we would be finding the words list from term document matrix, find the most frequent words and get the association rules for the selected frequent words. Now let me go ahead and run some code in the R. Uh, let me 
let's take a visuals file basically the size of our data is 8000 tweets already ga gathered we have already gathered the tweets from twitter and the sales season so we are not going to run the code for getting the tweets again for finding the most frequent routes we are going to use this particular code in R which is going to return the list of words that occur most frequently in the tweets now for getting the association for the selected uh, keywords we are going to use this code this is for getting the association for the term walmart that which the term walmart is mostly associated with uh, the words like best buy and for calculating the sentiment for each vendor and product selected we are going to pass the respective tweets data frames and when it comes to sentiment analysis we are going to load a set of positive or negative words into the R and using them along with the result vectors we are going to calculate the total sentiment for the season so these are going to be the list of positive and negative words that we are going to load into the R and for calculating the sentiment for each vendor and product selected we are going to pass this particular function with a tweet data frame positive words list negative words list this function returns us the score for each tweet in the data frame the remaining part of the presentation on the results and analysis would be given by Aditya my name is Aditya we have seen the demonstration of the tool R so far now I would like to discuss about the findings of our analysis the terms given on this slide are the most frequent terms that have occurred during our analysis and we have segmented these terms into three main categories retailers products brands retailers like Amazon eBay Target Walmart and Groupon have been quite popular. Canon, Sony, Victoria's Secret and Nikon have been the have been the most popular brands. And we have encountered a, a strange situation wherein Bill Gates' name was associated with the terms Cyber Monday and Black Friday. The reason behind this strange trend will be discussed in the next few slides. As a next step, we have uh, run an association analysis on the retailers to find out the find out the terms which are associated with these retailers walmart had handgun fires and target had books kindle and galaxy note while ebay had apple and shirt amazon had dvds and blu-rays bill gates had the terms spread giving tuesday and blank friday associated with it upon further analyzing the tweets Related to Bill Gates and Black Friday and Cyber Monday, we have found the following tweets to be quite popular. Bill Gates tweeted on 26th of November saying, uh, "Black Everyone knows about Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Help me spread the word about Giving Tuesday. And this tweet had been uh, retweeted quite a few times in the last couple of days and is the reason why uh, Bill Gates' name had showed up with the terms uh, Black Friday and Cyber Monday. As the next step, we have run a sentiment analysis uh, assigning, assigning, assigning sentiment score to the tweets and uh, thereby giving, uh, thereby giving a, a overall score for the retailers and uh, brands. Here we have uh, run the sentiment analysis on the retailers and uh, in the chart, the zero represents the neutral score, the minus represents the negative score and the positive represents the positive score. The overall score for Amazon is 900, eBay 600, Groupon 450, Target 300 and Walmart minus 100. We have run the sen similar sentiment analysis on the brands and we can see that uh, Sony is in the most favorable condition with, uh, with the score of 800. In conclusion, 
we can say that Amazon has been uh, has got the most positive response this Thanksgiving sale, while uh, the brand Sony has got the most thanks uh, has got the uh, the most positive response this Thanksgiving sale. I would like to take this opportunity to to uh, thank Dr. Sarada for providing us with this opportunity, and also for guiding us uh, in using all these tools. Thank you.